hi students so in vector algebra we have seen how to add vectors how to subtract vectors triangle law of vector addition parallelogram law of vector addition polygon law of vector addition how to take a resultant so these are vector basics today we are going to see resolution of vectors resolution of vectors that is suppose if someone moves in this direction someone moves in this direction suppose if we make x axis and y axis when he moves in this direction suppose 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 we can say we can say this movement has happened along x direction also this movement has happened along y direction also so there is movement in x direction there is movement in y direction if this is what we are mentioning is distance same way if a force if a force of 5 newton okay suppose if you are pushing or if you are pulling if you are pulling the arrow will be in this direction if you are pushing the arrow will be in that direction so when we apply force in that direction there is some component or a part of force is actually acting in x direction a part is actually acting in y direction also so that depends on the angle that depends on the angle suppose if we if we are trying to move something almost in this direction this y component will be more x component will be less suppose if you are pushing more in that direction x component will be more and y component will be less so this is what is resolution of vectors we for a vector which is acting like this we will have x component and we will have y component so if this is force same way for velocity also for all these type of vectors for displacement for force for velocity whatever be the vectors okay whatever be the kind of vectors but it will have if it is acting at some angle it will have x component it will have y component also clear suppose a vector v acting like this this acts at an angle theta with the horizontal acts at an angle theta with the horizontal now what we are going to see now what is x component what is y component or how to find how to find x component how to find y component and sometimes it need not be in x component and y component we can resolve the vectors in other ways also everything we will see okay now this vector v which is acting at an angle theta okay now it will have its x component it will have its y component now how to find this x component and y component same vector suppose this is v at an angle theta now we will make a triangle okay suppose if this is a this is b if this is c okay so this is v y this is v x okay so a b c c i am just marking this as d okay now what we need to find is what is the component of vector v what is the component of vector v in x direction what is the component of vector v in y direction okay now let's take if we take cos theta 
cos theta is nothing but adjacent side by hypotenuse so we take vx divided by v vx divided by v so vx is equal to v cos theta vx is equal to v cos theta same way if we take sin theta sin theta is nothing but opposite side by hypotenuse now using parallel shifting we can shift vectors without changing its direction and magnitude anywhere in the plane so with the parallel shifting if i shift this vy i can draw like this now this is what is vy so sin theta is equal to vy divided by v so vy is equal to vy is equal to v sin theta so suppose so if we get a vector if we get a vector with a theta angle to the horizontal if we get a vector with a theta angle to the horizontal then this x component this is also called the horizontal component of vector v this is vy vx is v cos theta which is nothing but horizontal component or how much amount of this vector is acting in the horizontal direction vy is v sin theta which is nothing but v vertical vertical component that is v sin theta okay so if the angle theta is with respect to horizontal this is how we are going to get that is if a vector is acting at some angle its effect will be there in other directions also okay its other directions also suppose if uh, if, we, if we have taken a hammer and using that hammer instead of hitting like this we hit the wall at some angle and if we check the crack it will have some crack in x direction also it may have some crack in the y direction also so the vector will have some effects in x direction y direction likewise so this is what is resolution of vector suppose same vector this is vector v so instead of theta here if the angle is here then again this is vy this is vx so in this case okay in this case using parallel shifting we can shift this vector here also we can keep a vx vector here just like this this is vx now if we take cos theta and sin theta what will happen cos theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse so vx by v so v is equal to vx cos theta same way sin theta is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse so adjacent side is vy divided by hypotenuse is v so v is equal to vy sorry vy is uh, sorry this is vx vx is equal to v cos theta this is vy is equal to this is v sin theta so this vx is nothing but v horizontal vy is v vertical now when the th position of theta is changed when they gave theta with respect to vertical vertical component became v cos theta horizontal component became v sin theta vertical component uh, this is horizontal component horizontal component becomes v cos theta vertical component becomes v sin theta so this is interchanged so not not it down okay so hope i i believe you understood this so thing is we can when we resolve the vectors which vector is near to the angle that will become v cos theta which vector is away from the angle that will become v sin theta simply we can say suppose if this is a vector a 
if the angle is given like this directly we can write this is going to be a cos theta and this is going to be a sin theta suppose if this is a vector this vector is x if this is theta then directly we can write this is going to be x cos theta and this is going to be x sin theta likewise okay so wherever theta is that will be cos theta and the other side will become sin theta take this question find x and y component of vector shown so force f is equal to 10 newton which is acting at an angle 30 degree so what is this x component and y component so x component fx or we can say horizontal component is nothing but f cos theta so 10 into cos 30 so 10 into cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so this is going to be 5 root 3 newton same way this is nothing but fy so fy is f vertical this is nothing but f uh, sin theta so force is 10 sin 30 sin 30 so this is equal to 10 into sin 30 is 1 by 2 we will be getting 5 newton okay so horizontal component is 5 root 3 vertical component is 5 newton so uh, this is very much essential very important to understand physics okay throughout physics we will have vector resolution like this we resolve the vectors in horizontal component and vertical component so that the calculations will become easy okay what about <coughs> this one how to solve this one so here well a vector v is given as 5 meter per second in the y direction so here uh, 90 degree is given so suppose it is very clear that vx is 0 no horizontal component because it is in vertical component completely so if we want we can see this also if we take uh, vx is equal to v cos theta if we take cos theta like that this will become cos 90 and this becomes 0 okay but uh, anyway vertical horizontal that a difference also we cannot take here so directly we can take like uh, this is actually v itself in the vertical direction no component in horizontal direction you may ask like uh, why can't we take uh, v sin theta here so just for your understanding i have written like this directly we can say that only vertical component is there no horizontal component if a vector is acting in this direction 10 meter per second velocity then velocity along vertical direction is zero okay please understand like that this is another question an aeroplane takes off at an angle of 60 degree to the horizontal if the velocity of the plane is 200 km per hour, calculate its horizontal and vertical components of its velocity. So they have given the value of velocity at 200 km per hour and this is at an angle of 60 degree to the horizontal. Now we need to find its horizontal and vertical component okay so uh, simple question only direct question you just to do this please do this and see the answers so this is velocity horizontal and this is velocity vertical vertical component of velocity horizontal component of velocity or we can say this is the velocity how much is the horizontal part how much is the vertical part so this is 200 cos 60 so cos 60 is 1 by 2 we get 100 kilometer per hour same way vertical velocity is going to be uh, 200 sin 60 
so 200 into root 3 by 2 we will be getting 100 root 3 kilometer per hour so we have studied uh, how to find the resultant also if one vector is acting in this direction another vector is acting in this direction see we have studied no in triangle law of vector addition parallelogram law of vector addition suppose this is one vector this is another vector or otherwise simply we will take the same same way suppose uh, this is another vector okay then what is the resultant so if this is the parallelogram this is the resultant so if the angle between these two vectors are 90 degree the resultant is what a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta so cos 90 will become 0 so root of a square plus b square so in this case if we try to take the resultant what we are going to get root of this square plus this square so 100 square plus 100 root 3 the whole square correct so what will happen this will become 10 raised to 4 this will become 10 raised to 4 into 3 so when we take 10 raised to 4 outside and outside the root if we take we will be getting so here we will be getting if we take 10 raised to 4 outside we will be getting 1 plus 3 so outside root this will become 10 square and inside root this will become root 4 2 finally what we are going to get we will be getting 200 itself 200 itself so when we take the resultant of these two we will be getting this one when we resolve this vector we will be getting these two that is two vectors acting at some angle by using the formulas parallelogram law triangle law of vector addition we will be able to find these vectors resultant this could be in this direction or this direction whatever it may be we will be able to find the resultant this resultant if we get back to find this components two components acting at a 90 degree that also we can do okay see need not be always uh, this is in horizontal and vertical component suppose if this is how this is a vector some vector acting at an angle if this is theta if this is theta this component we can find this component also we can find okay so this is going to be what a cos theta and this is going to be a sin theta okay need not be always horizontal component and vertical component okay if it is at some angle one the uh, component near to the theta will be cos theta component component far away from the theta will be sine component that's that's what so two vectors when they are acting separately at some angle its overall effect is what is called the resultant okay now the overall effect the resultant if you want to know its components in different directions then that also we can find okay what is its effect in this direction what is its effect in this direction what is its effect in this direction this direction anything we can find okay so put the angle but in order to find other component that must be exactly perpendicular if you are finding this component its perpendicular component can be found if we know this theta this will be cos theta component this will be sine theta component that's it okay students so just read this note not down this one we can have two mutually perpendicular components of a vector other than x direction or y direction we can have two mutually perpendicular direction of vectors okay other than x and y so this could be x direction this could be y direction so suppose a vector a vector is acting like this so its x component is this one I found and its y component also I found okay so if this is theta this is going to be cos component this is going to be sine component 
if this is theta this is going to be the x, uh, cos component this is going to be the y component now suppose if a vector is acting like this vector is acting like this i need to understand what is the effect of this vector in this direction okay in horizontal direction since this is 90 degree nothing will be there no effect will be there but because of this vector there can be effect like this and there can be effect like this exactly mutually perpendicular perpendicular to this one so this black vector this is exactly 90 degree to this so i can find this if this is theta this is going to be green cos theta and this is going to be green sin theta green means this one so i can have this thing in any direction okay any direction this one this one this one whatever be the direction at theta angle i can find its component okay clear so we have studied inclined plane this is inclined plane okay now suppose if we keep a ball like this if we keep a ball like this where the acceleration due to gravity or gravitational so if this is a ball gravitational force is acting downwards but we have seen we can see this ball will be moving in this direction so what is its meaning its indication is that a component of gravitational force is acting in this direction otherwise this would have stayed here itself is it correct if we keep a ball here this balls the gravitational force on this ball is acting in this direction downward direction but still we can see this is moving in this direction so its meaning is that a part of gravitational force is acting in this direction okay so that is what we are going to see in this suppose if we keep a mass m in an inclined plane if this angle is theta definitely gravitational force mg will be acting in this direction and we know this is 90 degree so theta plus 90 plus this angle together 180 degree suppose if this is x then x plus theta plus 90 is equal to 180 degree we can say x is equal to so this goes to this side this will become 90 minus theta so this angle is going to be 90 minus theta now if i take a perpendicular component of mg in this direction and uh, i am interested in taking a component in this direction also what about this angle what about this angle what is this angle actually this angle is that is this one this is actually 90 degree so this is 90 minus theta if this total is 90 degree definitely this angle is theta and if we need to find the component of mg in this direction this is going to be what mg cos theta the component near to theta will be mg cos theta and this is going to be mg sin theta and in loss of motion and all in order to find normal normal force is nothing but normal to the plane this is the plane here so normal reaction will be in this direction there we will get the help of this force this component mg sin theta since this mass will be moving in this direction mg sin theta we need that is why we have taken mg cos theta and mg sin theta so if this is theta this is 90 degree this is 90 minus theta since this all angle is 90 this is going to be theta so once if you understand every time you need not check like this you should have this in mind that if this is theta then this is going to be definitely theta so if this is mg whichever component near to theta will be mg cos theta 
its mutually perpendicular vector which is nothing but mg sin theta so here we will have the use of this thing so it need not be always in x and y direction it can be any mutually perpendicular vectors clear take it down so we call a name for them this is actually perpendicular component perpendicular component uh, perpendicular to what perpendicular to this plane and this is called a parallel component parallel to the plane of inclined plane inclined plane so this is parallel component this is called a perpendicular component <coughs> suppose if if we have a string if a string with a ball like this this will be swinging like this this will be swinging like this suppose if in this position if the tension force is acting in this direction and if they give the angle like this this is tension in this direction if this is the angle in this suppose this is swinging okay this will come if this is swinging if the tension is acting in this direction then we will be able to uh, find the uh, x component and y component of this tension this is actually t sin theta and this is going to be t cos theta so mg will be in this direction so mg t cos theta equating and all will be done so vector resolution is important in many applications take this question a man rows a boat with a speed of 18 km per hour in the northwest direction. The shore line makes an angle of 15 degrees south of west. Obtain the components of the velocity of the boat along shore line and perpendicular to the shore line. So, no new concept is present in this question. How to take the angles just like uh, 45 degree south of west or 30 degree west of south 15 degree north of east all these things we have seen okay in the vector basics so if you are if you are revising the topics you will not feel any trouble if you are not revising directly coming you may get confusion but when i solve at least try to recollect okay if you feel any doubt go to the basics and clear it okay now we will solve so northwest east uh, north south east west this is what they are mentioning so we will mark accordingly north south this is going to be east and this is going to be west now a man rows a boat with a speed of 18 km per hour in the northwest direction so he is actually in the northwest direction he is actually rowing the board this is 18 kilometer per hour so northwest direction when i when they say this is exactly middle of north and west we can make this as 45 degree first sentence okay the shore line that is the bank of the river or whatever it may be the shore line makes an angle 15 degrees south of west 15 degrees south of west so from west 15 degree in the south that is what 15 degrees south of west means so we can make the shore like this this is how the shore is and this is 15 degree south of west okay now what they are asking obtain the components of velocity of the board along shore line and perpendicular to the shore line okay along shore line and perpendicular to the shore line so this is shore line so we need to find the component of this velocity along shore line and perpendicular to the shore line okay so now this total angle is how much 16 degree so when we resolve we can resolve like this this is what is along shoreline okay so 
18 cos 60 then exactly perpendicular to the shore line we can say this is 18 sin 60 so this is um, 18 into root 3 by 2 so 9 root 3 and this is going to be 18 into 1 by 2 so this is going to be 9 so along shore line along shore line is 9 along shore line is 9 and perpendicular to the shore line is 9 root 3 so option d is the answer okay so this is nothing but uh, north south east west we marked man rows a boat with a speed of 18 km per hour in the northwest direction northwest direction means it will be 45 degree to the north 45 degree to the west i can mark here also 45 degree then the shore line makes an angle 15 degree south of west so shore line i have marked its angle is 15 degree south of west so i marked it like this now what they are asking is obtain the components along the shore line and perpendicular to the shore line so whichever angle is coming that side will be cos theta component and perpen its perpendicular will be sin theta component okay clear not it down so okay students so this is about the introduction of uh, component of vectors in the previous uh, sessions we have studied if two vectors are given how to find the resultant now here it is reverse we have got the resultant we need to find its mutually perpendicular components this could be in x y direction this can be in parallel and perpendicular direction of inclined plane or just like in this case any specific situations so if we know this okay wherever we get a situation we, where we need to take the components comfortably we'll be able to take okay students so keep studying goodbye good luck if you have any doubt just see the previous videos make it clear and again come back or at least go through the notes and see this thank you very much